In order to minimize any adverse effects of reunification, a five-year time limit is declared to make preparations. But the United Coalition of the United States, China, Japan, and Russia, all fearing the emergence of a unified Korea, push back against reunification. Yo, what up? It's me, Red, and I'll be reviewing Elong, the Wolf Brigade. I hopefully I said that right. Anyways, I watched this movie, I don't want to say, not this movie, but I watched the anime one a while back ago, actually. It was during my time of uh, finding uh, anime at the time, because the movie came out in 2001, the animated one. Uh, it was called Jinro, the Wolf Brigade. So, I was into, you know, underground shit, and I watched this movie, and it was pretty good. And then I saw that Netflix adapted it into another one called Elon, the Wolf Brigade. I thought it was a sequel or something, but it's basically... The same film, just things have changed, uh, such as uh, the setting. It's in Korea instead of Japan. Um, it's set in uh, 2024 instead of uh, 1950 or whatever. So there's the differences here and there, but the main core of the story is still there. Uh, this special police force was created in order to suppress terrorist attacks due to unification in Korea. They united the South and the North the Americans and everyone else was against it, blah, 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 you know. They, they explain all in the beginning. So they create the Special Police Force, which consists of heavily armored individuals carrying fucking heavy-ass machine gunnery, which is impossible to carry and shoot with one hand, but they somehow pull it off. So they might have some stabilizer and stuff, but they get down. And they at first, of course, in the beginning of the film, they didn't wear a mask. They wore their helmet and armor and stuff like that. But due to an incident called Bloody Friday, they decided to hide their faces, hide their humanity in order to protect it. So, of course, they don motherfucking masks. And let me tell you, some terrifying ass little mask scene coming at you in the dark and shit is fucking great. Um, of course, the, the design of it is taken from the animated film, the first one. And it's not... A lot of people say, hey, this is just fucking... Uh, Kill Zone in a movie, but the first Kill Zone was actually released in 2003 or uh, 2004, and uh, Elon uh, Jin Ro, the animated film, the actual anime, was released fucking in 2001. 2001, so they're copying this group because these guys are borrowing from the original film, not from Kill Zone. Just saying, all right, it's <laughs> setting the record straight right there because I seen the memes and stuff. And I was like, no, nah, I think the film Jinro came out before Killzone, but there we go. So, of course, uh, the film's got to have a main character, such as the other uh, animated film had uh, the character Jinro. This one has uh, Lim, or M, I don't know how to say it, and follows his story of being the member who, you know, killed a lot of people in Bloody Friday. And in the beginning of this film, we get him to see him almost take out a girl. I'm not really going to spoil a lot of the film because it's actually a really good film. It's pretty long too. Two hours is a pretty long film, right? And we get to see a lot of it. I mean, there's, there's a lot of action in it. I love the action. It's fucking directed really great. But the actual story behind it, like what's going on, like the special police force being targeted by the public security task force. So like some kind of coup is pretty interesting actually. And that's what this whole story is about. It all revolves back to who is in power in this government. Now, there is a good cast here. A fucking great cast, actually. They did a great job. I watched the English dub and the, uh, the regular, you know, version. Korean, I think it was. And it was fucking amazing, dude. I loved both of them. The actors did a fantastic job. Starting with our main character, Im jong Kyung. He was fucking great. He was mostly quiet, of course. In the English dub, he was voiced by John, Johnny Yong Mosk. But uh, he did a great job acting. Uh, he was serious the whole time. Didn't show any emotion. Definitely could tell this guy was scarred by the shit he's seen. And then when he gets down, he gets down, dude. Trust me. Uh, next character, of course, is Lee Young Hee. She um, used to be part of the sect group. She diverged from it. Her little sister was on that in the beginning of the film. She runs a bookstore, or whatever. She it gets introduced with our main character, though it is later revealed she's actually working for the security force, and shit goes down. But uh, she's sweet and stuff, and actually really, really cute. I was like, whoa! Even in the elevator scene, I was like, whoa! Hong Sang Woo 
I gotta say he's the best character in this movie. The actor went far and beyond. You you get a sense he was the head of security force. He used to be in the the secu special security as uh, one of them, but he switched out because he wanted to get you know higher up and stuff like that. But damn, dude, this actor did a fantastic job, dude. And then the last character we got is Young Jing Tae. He's um, basically commander of the special security force and of the Wolf Brigade, which is basically what this film is called behind. And he's really a badass dude. Um, he he's basically fucking big boss from Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> That's all I gotta say about that. But uh, he also did a great job. But no one was better than the, the other dude, dude. Seriously. Um, so yeah, what is the Wolf Brigade, right? These guys are called, of course, called the Special Security Force, right? Well, the Wolf Brigade is something inside the Special Security Force used to destroy or kill anyone that isn't cooperating with whatever, right? That's what we get, a special special task force inside the Special Security Force that the uh, public security is trying to uproot and stuff like that. That's basically the film right there. And it was a great film, like I said, two hours long. Be ready for some slow parts. Like I said, not every film is non-stop action. We get a good three, three stops action here. Especially the ending was pretty great. Um, I gotta say though, that armor is gonna be fucking awesome. Be able to deflect shit like that like crazy without breaking bones and stuff. But overall, I think it's a good film. It's a 7 out of 10 for me. I enjoyed it. I watched it last night. Watched it all the way through. Then fell asleep. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hit that like. Hit that sub. I'll catch you guys next time.